Thank you for choosing a BioRock unit for domestic sewage treatment. This introductory manual contains important information on how to successfully install the BioRock unit. This video is a quick guide only. Please read the installation manual for full details on how to correctly install your BioRock product. Please take photographs of each stage of the installation with particular attention to all of the connecting pipework. Excavation Consult a suitably qualified expert to assess the local ground conditions if necessary. Excavate the hole to the appropriate size, leaving 300mm gap all the way around for backfilling. For installations in a high water table, it is best to place the units on a 150mm thick concrete base, which should also extend 300mm beyond the tank. The influent pipe will determine the depth of the excavation. If it is more than 600 mm deep, please consult your local dealer for advice on extension sets. Don't install the system too close to the house or other buildings. Don't plant large trees adjacent to the system or install the system close to large trees. Always keep the system accessible. Installation of the tanks Make sure the water flows by gravity to the primary tank and onwards into the BioRock unit. For installations in a high water table area, ensure the adequate drainage of the excavation during installation and anchor the unit to the concrete slab. Ensure that the unit is level using a spirit level. Installation of the effluent pipes. Effluent must flow by gravity from the primary tank to the BioRock unit. If the effluent cannot flow by gravity, a pump will be required. Use PVC pipes with a diameter of 110 mm. Make sure the connections are not leaking once the units are filled with water and before completely covering the installation. Don't use any PVC pipes with a diameter smaller than 100 mm. Aeration of the primary tank and the BioRock reactor. Both tanks must be ventilated independently and the ventilation outlet should not be more than 10 meters from the tanks. The primary tank can be vented using the existing external soil vent pipe. Air emittance valves are not suitable for venting. For best results, the vent pipe should be positioned as close as possible to the tanks. If necessary, Check the ventilation with a smoke test. The use of wind-driven ventilators is recommended. Do not combine vent pipes of the primary tank and the BioRock unit. It is best to use 45-degree bends or 90-degree sweeping bends. Backfill. Fill both the primary tank and BioRock unit with clean water. Backfill the hole with 3 to 6 mm smooth pea gravel or lean mix concrete whilst filling the tanks with water at the same level. Do not exceed 300 mm per filling and compaction cycle. Continue to fill the primary tank until the water flows into the BioRock unit. Saturate the BioRock media with water. Adjust the water distribution system to ensure even distribution across the BioRock media. Do not completely fill the tanks with water before the unit is backfilled. Do not use dirty or contaminated water. Do not use a mechanical compactor, only compact manually. Do not reuse the excavated soil or spoil from the site. Commissioning the system. Check and adjust the water distribution pipe. Then close and secure the lids. Do not cover the lids or vents. Do not overload system beyond the design limits. Do not use unsuitable or unsafe materials. Do not drive over the system with heavy equipment. Pump well. If the effluent can't be discharged by gravity, install a pump well and pump. Ensure that all connections comply and conform to local regulations. For further information or troubleshooting, please consult the extensive user manual 
or your local dealer. We thank you once again for purchasing a BioRock system and we wish you every success with your installation. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you require any additional assistance.